In this video, I'm taking a look at the Sivga Phoenix open back dynamic driver headphones. Now, Sivga is a Chinese company. They have a line of wooden uh, headphones or headphones with wooden ear cups. And they also have a series of in-ear monitors, but we're looking at their new headphone today. It's an open back. 50 millimeter uh, dynamic drivers in there. It comes in this very nice molded case here, good quality hard case. It's even got feet on the bottom so you can stand it up like that. Very nice quality indeed. So that's a good start always. And when you open it up, boom. Take a look at those babies. Take a look at those. So yeah, uh, that's the case. This is the cable. I'll cover that in a moment. Really nice. I love this. That is a very handy and high quality accessory. Keep that out of the way. All right, let's have a closer look at these headphones now. Look at that, beautiful. These are listed at $255 on the official Sivga AliExpress storefront. But if you go to the actual Sivga website, they're listed at $299. So keep that in mind. But here they are. They're, they're actually really lightweight. They, they're, they are full size headphones, but they are a little bit on the small side. The, the ear cups here are a little bit smaller than some other headphones you might find in this range. But even for my big ears, there's plenty of room there. Uh, but the, probably the biggest concern for people with big heads is the size of the headband. There isn't a whole lot of adjustment room there. Um, but for me, these are fine. I, I sort of have them in that position and they fit me perfectly well. The clamping force is not very tight. And of course, this is spring steel. So if necessary, you can sort of bend it and uh, shape it somewhat to, to fit you better. The ear cups here are articulating. They go, they swivel and they pivot. They don't, they don't um, swivel 180 degrees, so you can't sit them down flat. But this is a really nice system. I find that the the headphones sort of position themselves naturally on your head and, and they're very comfortable. Um, the only one issue that I did have is if you can, you might be able to see that uh, these ear pads are a little bit narrow. Now, this has been addressed by the company and I've been told that they are working on some larger, fatter pads. And um, once they're ready, they will come standard with each set um and i might do an update later maybe maybe not but besides that uh, i do find these really comfortable and i should mention that these ear pads although they are a little on the thin side they are absolutely beautiful they they are protein leather on the outside here and the fabric here on the inside is like a really soft velvety fabric so all around you know this is a very nicely built headphone you would have a hard time finding headphones with a better build quality than this for the same price for about 250 bucks and of course um, i forgot to mention this is the zebra wood ear cups uh, stainless steel grills here 2.5 millimeter uh, connectors female female connectors for the uh, cable which I'll get to now oh, one more thing the underside of the headband is nicely padded as well so yeah they, they are very comfortable apart from my ears touching the inside here which hopefully will be addressed soon with some new ear pads now the cable that you get it's a uh, fabric braided cable it is really really light it comes with this uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, Sivka branding, knurling on there, it's aluminium. You get this nice spring strain relief. It's really supple, it handles beautifully. Just a simple 
uh, aluminium Y split there and at the top here are your 2.5 millimeter connectors and as you can see they're marked and they are color coded as well so that's that's a really well thought out cable and I quite like this a lot it would be nice to have a balanced cable but uh, having said that these headphones are very easy to drive so you don't really need a balanced output so gorgeous headphone how about the sound let's move this cable out of the way so how about the sound well I'll tell you what very very good <laughs> I'll just be blunt they sound great um, they have they have a sort of a warm really organic sound a uh, very musical tuning it's not the most detailed sounding headphone uh, some micro details do get lost but that's just the price you have to pay for a warmer tonality you know the the headphones that are known for being uh, detail monsters like the the Sennheiser 800s and whatnot you'll find they generally have a thinner mid-range and a brighter treble and that's how you bring the micro details out so with a warmer more musical headphone like this you tend to lose those but the the macro details like the general details are actually quite good um, despite the warm tonality of these headphones they're they're quite uh, technically proficient they handle fairly well I'll break it down into parts like I always do starting with the bass great impact uh, great bass extension they can slam they've got nice sub bass rumble uh, for your bass genres for your drum and bass your hip-hop EDM all that you get some real kick-ass bass sounds awesome but it's a it's a nicely controlled bass it doesn't distort those um, 50 millimeter drivers are, are good quality and of course the um, the housings here are really well built so there's no distortion the the bass doesn't have the most defined leading edge but it's pretty good it, it just has that little touch of softness that sort of gives it a weight and a very natural feel but the bass is still fairly fast and and because because it's an open back headphone you don't get those sort of strange uh, resonances inside the ear cups so that helps a lot in that regards as well so great bass response would they suit a bass head mm, well maybe maybe not I would say they probably would unless you really really want bass and in that case you're probably going to use some an amp with a bass boost or EQ anyway so yeah they can probably satisfy bass heads in that regard now for the mid-range the mids um, the mids are what a lot of people are going to really love about the Phoenix they are rich and they're lush they're really engaging but they're still very detailed and articulate the resolution in the mid-range is really good so each uh, each instrument and sound sort of has its own space within the sound stage there's no there's no uh, blurring of the sounds it's all nice and clean and, and kept separate so you get a really good sense of, of the different elements within music even though the mid-range uh, still is quite warm and, and very smooth somehow they manage to still bring texture through and they don't sound muddy they don't sound veiled but there is that warmth there now these have a really nice treble um, it's crisp and it's clear it's not too forward though and it's not a bright treble but it, it does provide enough clarity it does provide um, a fair amount of detail but it's a treble that you can listen to um, th this is these headphones sort of encourage you to turn your music up loud and that's one of the things that makes them so enjoyable they're very musical and you just want to listen to your music um, you might not get all those minute details but you can sort of turn it up and there's plenty of energy in the treble without being without going overboard so they're good for prolonged listening sessions I found they work well across a wide variety of different music genres and overall they just sound really great I just wanted to talk quickly also about the soundstage on the Civca Phoenix because that is the reason a lot of people buy open back headphones is for that sort of wide airy stage now although these are open back 
they don't have a really expansive sound stage that is not a detriment let me just get that out of the way first of all keep in mind that they have a warm tonality so just by nature the sound stage is going to be a little bit smaller but it's definitely not confined or congested and that is due to the fact that these have really good instrument separation they have good overall resolution and um, now in terms of soundstage width they're pretty good they are wider than most sort of warm closed back headphones they're, but they're not really expansive what they do have is very good depth uh, in forward manner and, and layering but the trade-off what you get in return for that is these have excellent imaging um, which some close back uh, some open back headphones can be a bit vague in their positional cues and sort of direction uh, imaging like that these are really good they have good great note density the notes have sort of this like a physical body things are floating not just wishy-washy through the air things occupy a space on the sound stage and that's one of the uh, strong points about the Sivga. It just makes it everything feel very natural and in, in conjunction with that sort of musical, natural tonality. It just sounds very organic and, and, and it's just enjoyable, very musical. So if you want something that's uh, neutral or very technical or very reference, don't, these aren't for you. If you want something to listen to music with and really enjoy your music and kick back, relax, you know, you don't have to kick back. You can get up and jam with these as well. Definitely check these out. And um, which brings me back to the price, which is $255. Now, personally, I think that's a pretty good deal. There is some compelling competition out there, like you've got the Bayer Dynamics. Uh, they have certain one models in the similar price range um, if if you're talking about the price on the Sivka website the 299 that's only ten dollars less than the um, Meze 99 classics which are still a fantastic headphone and, and um, perform on par with these in my opinion but as long as there these are $255 on AliExpress that is a great deal and you know I, I recommend if you're looking for something that's warm nice uh, healthy amount of bass uh, rich lush smooth mids and a you know a nice energetic treble but one that's not going to cause you fatigue and it's not too bright then yeah definitely check these out for sure and um, you probably want to grab a pair so guys um i know a few people have bought these already so if you have do own a pair do leave a comment down below and and let me know how how you enjoy them or if you enjoy them also let me know if if what i'm hearing is the same as what you're hearing because it's good to get feedback like that and don't forget to check out the full written review. There is a link in the description and there are also links to our Discord channel, our Facebook group and the Instagram uh, account. So go and check those out if you're interested. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Parfam audiophile style. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until next time, I'll see you later.